Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Mauna Narvani. In this video, I will be discussing about a to-do list project using React.js and JSON server. So this, whatever you are seeing on the screen, it's a to-do list application where we can add new items, we can edit, we can delete and also listing of all the items using JSON server. So all the items, whatever you are going to add, delete, update, everything will be saved on a server. So first let us uh, just check how this entire to-do list works. So this already some five items are present in JSON server. Now suppose if you want to add a new item to-do list. So I'm adding a new item and this is a to-do list application. Okay. So you can give a deadline. So I want to finish it within two days and click on save. So you can see here to-do list, whatever was the task name, to-do list successfully saved. So once you come back to the home page, you can see here the to-do list item has been added. Similarly, you can delete an item. So the delete, it got deleted. You can also edit the item. So I just write E and update. And when you go back, you can see the updated content here. So all these basic CRUD operations, uh, we are going to perform in this application using a JSON server. So we'll start by setting up the project. So first we need to create a React project. So if you are aware of how to create a React project, set up, uh, install the dependencies like Bootstrap, Axios, React Rotor DOM, then you can skip for some time and directly start with the project. So in this project, uh, we are going to start everything from scratch, in, including the installation and even the designing part, each and everything we are going to type and see the results. Okay. So we'll start with the basic setup of the project. So I created, uh, I'll create one folder called as to do app. So within this, open a command prompt and create a React project using the npx create React app and to this app I'll give it as to do app. The name of the application is to do app and click on enter button. So it takes some time uh, for the installation. Okay, so as you can see, the installation uh, is completed. So now, we can just uh, start our uh, React project and just check it. Okay, as you can see, our uh, React project is uh, up and running. So uh, along with this, we need some more dependencies like Bootstrap for designing. Axios to perform the CRUD operations using get, post, delete, put methods and also we need a React router DOM for routing purpose. So let us install those dependencies also. Okay, come back uh, where our React project is installed. Either you can open uh, VS code and uh, do the installation or directly you can do from the command prompt also. So now we'll install uh, bootstrap, npm install bootstrap. So again, uh, the installation takes some time. Okay, so now the bootstrap installation is completed. Similarly, we'll uh, install axios, axios. And also will install React Rotor DOM. npm install React Rotor DOM. Oh. Okay, sorry, the spelling of install is wrong. So again, it will take some time. 
So the installation of all the dependencies needed, bootstrap, axios and react auto dom is done. So as I said, we are going to start this project from scratch, including the designing, setting up the project and all. So we have created uh, our react project to, uh, to do app using npx create react app command and we have installed the dependencies bootstrap axios and also react rotor dom and we have uh, also seen that our react app is running so we will be dividing this uh, project into multiple parts so this is the first part of the project so in this video we will be seeing the uh, setup of the project so next we'll see the setup of a json server so we'll see how we can set up a json server where we can perform all the crud operations come back uh, to the folder where we had uh, installed or created our uh, to do app and here i'm going to create a folder called as to do server so here once again open a command prompt and install json server so how we are going to install is npm install minus g json hyphen server okay so the json server is set up now so what we'll do is within this, uh, see here, this is our to do app and here there is a server. So within this uh, server, I'm going to create a to do list dot JSON where all our data will be present. Okay, so now add some contents. We'll, we'll, what we'll do is we are going to add some contents in, in this JSON file and we'll check whether our server is also running. So for that, you can use any editor. I'm here, I'm using a notepad. You can use a notepad plus plus or any other editors. So I'll give the name as to do list. Okay, so I have added one item in this uh, to do list. Its ID is one. The task is steady react. So in a to do list, uh, list of items, the task is to complete uh, steadying of react and some description or say the details of this task and deadline by what day or what date you want to finish this task. Similarly, we can add some more uh, such uh, items in a server so i'll just add uh, and one more item the id number two so i'll keep it as uh, steady css you can uh, give any task name which you want to complete or anything so i'll just write it as cascading style sheets and complete it within say 22 7 and by 15th july of 2022 and similarly we'll add one more item the last item so its id is 3 so i'll say html and I'll just write the description as HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript and complete it within 25th. Okay. Okay. So our uh, JSON uh, uh, server, the contents within a JSON server is ready. So we have this to do list with three uh, items in the list. So let's save it and close it and open or run our JSON server. Okay. <coughs> uh, to start the JSON server, we are going to give the command JSON hyphen server minus minus 
watch just now we have created to do list.json file give the name of the file so the server will be watching this particular file minus minus port that is at the port number 1235 so uh, you can give any uh, different port numbers i am using here 1235 <clears throat> okay so it is giving some syntax error let me check it okay so all these uh, individual tasks should be enclosed uh, within opening and uh, closing curly places so i'll just add it here save and hopefully it will not give any error this time we are going to run the same command again uh oh okay so we need to remove these uh, square brackets and give the comma here so uh, yeah now it is correct so let us uh, check it again yeah now the server is running at the port number 1235 so if you go to this particular uh, uh, url so you can view all the three items which we have stored in our json server so let's go to the browser and type localhost one two three five is our uh, port number slash to do list so these are those three items which we have uh, included in our json server and now our json server is also up and running so our uh, the json server is also running and our react app is also running so we need to include some more things here to build our project so go to our to do app react project so i'm using vs code here come to the index.js file from the source folder and for the styling purpose we'll be importing bootstrap import bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap dot min dot css so with this you can directly uh, make use of all the bootstrap classes in our project and also we are going to include font awesome cdn now i also want to include the icons like this home but home plus the edit one uh, and for the delete the trash can so to include these types of icons we need to uh, have the font awesome library so i am going to include the font awesome cdn link into our project so for that you can go to uh, this uh, you can just google font or some cdn link and uh, click on the first link which will get you here just copy this url come to your project in the public folder come to index.html and within the head section within the head section of your project you need to include this link so for that write it as link rel is equal to style sheet href is equal to and paste the link here and finally close this link tag so with this we are uh, including the font awesome cdn link and uh, with this there is no downloading or installation is required and also i am changing my type title of the react app as to do app to do app save it so if you change the title you can uh, see it here it is 
uh, available as to do app. Uh, we have just seen the entire uh, installation process, how to set up the project, how to uh, set up the server. Now in the next video, what we'll do is we'll try to design this uh, header bar and also list all the uh, items, list all the to-do list.json uh, server. We have included uh, three items. We'll, we'll try to list those items here. So we'll see how to achieve it using uh, Axios libraries and all. So that's it in this video. Like, share and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.